What's up party people? I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sound and Lighting, and today we're rocking out at the Santa Fe Depot in Temple, Texas with the silver package. Let's get it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald, always excited to share. And today we're gonna to be rocking out with our silver package. Basically, it is a five hour DJ MC and dance floor lighting package. However, in this case, we're using it at a wedding reception because it starts at the cocktail hour all the way through to the grand exit. So for about five hours of solid performance is what we're gonna do here today. So before I get into the setup, which is going to be time-lapse, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any cool videos here on G5 Productions. Let's get to work. All right, party people, here we go. I'm going to start working on this with the desktop first, setting up the DDJ, then uncasing the freedom sticks, and of course, putting the bags under the tables. Next, I'll just begin to unbag the speakers and move everything out that I don't need, and of course, set up the first subwoofer, mini Kenta, and top speaker. The mini Kenta does have a DeFi hub on it, so it becomes wireless, and then I'll take the other subwoofer set and set it up in the same manner as the first one but on the opposite side of the room. Now, of course, there's going to be a pretty long cable run, which does require me to put some gaff tape down because there are doors behind the head table and putting down wires like that is pretty tedious, but you got to do that when you're setting up at formal events, especially. It's just the right thing to do, and that's how we perform at G5 Productions. So as I'm making my way around the corner towards the tabletop, then I'll begin to switch gaff tape colors to white because the floor is a white marble and I just wanted that to blend in a little better especially once I dim the lights down now I'm gonna put some bags away and then begin to work on the light control a little bit so I'm gonna go turn the speakers on and then begin programming the freedom sticks now once I come back to the desktop I turn on the freedom sticks program them and then of course position them around the room the last of the lighting that I'll need to set up are the moving heads. Now this room has very high ceilings, so that's why I chose to use them. We're we doing toast. Yeah, there's no uh, feedback right here in the middle, so no weird sounds, no noises, no hisses. We are good to go. Woo -woo. All right, so we're doing a quick mic versus music. So anytime we grab the mic, we want to be able to audibly talk about the music. So we're good to go here. I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour here. So I have the desktop set up with two moving heads. Everything's on blackout at the moment, so no spoiler alert. For the microphone, I do have a windscreen for the couple hand wipes. I have some more uh, stashed in here. Plastic gloves, also two more windscreens. So as I transfer the mic back and forth between myself and whoever's speaking over there, then I will be doing a lot of hand sanitizing on the microphone. DDJ with Serato to control the music. There's the microphone receiver and um, got some cocktail hour music going uh, in the background through Spotify that is actually downloaded to the iPad but there is internet for both the iPad and the computer here at the moment and let's talk about this crazy cable run here so there it is two audio cables and one uh, power cable the power cable uh, terminates here at the plug I got two audio cables that go around the corner and uh, the first stop for the audio is that this subwoofer goes out of the subwoofer and up to the top right here. And of course I got wireless lighting control for the mini Kenta. These sticks, which I put six of them along the base wall here, all wireless as well. So I put a couple of uh, sticks right here behind the head table. So here it is. All right. And so the next uh, audio path uh, is going across all the doors in the wall and then it terminates right there. Uh, there's power for that subwoofer in the column next to it. So basically all of the columns do have power to include the ones in the middle. So that is very convenient. People are starting to show up, but I'm not starting until uh, 7.30 here on my time. But just wanted to give you guys a brief 
uh, look around here and uh, how neat we try to keep things here at G5. The other two freedom sticks, they are actually uh, in front of those uh, two columns right here. So let me get you a quick peek right there without uh, getting in the way over here. So there they go. And we got some dancers. They're doing a quick rehearsal right there. All right, party people, so I'm going to go change now. I'm all set up. I got some music in there going just for GP. Here's the wedding flow that I took off the table. I always keep one copy with me now because sometimes I get stopped in the middle of wherever in the venue and get asked a question or the wedding planner may want to do a quick update or something like that. In this case, there is no wedding planner per se. I believe pretty much a lot of people in the family have uh, just kind of joined in and you know helped the couple out. Things look like they're flowing smooth, but I can only account for uh, here at the venue and what's going on so far. This is one of the uh, things that DJs do. You know, we just kind of you know, set up everything as you can saw in the time lapse there. Sit-ups do vary, depends on uh, the package and you know, how elaborate we need to go. This is nothing new in the DJ industry. In fact, lots of people do what I'm about to do. Now, according to my schedule, uh, as far as when I'm supposed to actually start, the time is 7.30, uh, the time now is 7.06 with a completed sound check and all of the lighting is already taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and change. I got plenty of time to take my time, drink some water, go over the uh, floor again, and I'm gonna get back inside a little bit earlier just to make sure if there's any last minute changes, especially with the dance company, I can accommodate them. So let's get it. All right, party people, it's 7.15, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to work here soon. But I wanna give you guys a couple of pointers, a couple of tips here, right? I always carry clean socks, some cologne, right? So I can uh, just kind of freshen up a little bit. I also uh, got some soap in here, so when I go to the bathroom, I wash up. I got plenty of lotion. Actually, I got two bottles right there. A couple of things of uh, toothpaste, a razor to shave with, with a new blade for it right there toothbrush so this is you know all my stuff right here more soap deodorant uh, more toothpaste and dental floss right so all of the things necessary to uh, keep fresh you know especially when you got to do a quick freshen up before uh, the party start also I have a couple of extra speakers with some stands up front just in case I wasn't sure if I was going to need all four but looks like I didn't so I didn't bother to set these up it is 717 at the moment and I'm headed right back to the venue which is only about a hundred feet away or so. And uh, no worries, no stress here. The sound's going, the mic was already set up. that theme going up in the ceiling they're gonna be some belly dancing later but let me let you guys get a look at these uh, freedom sticks so I was able to strategically kind of match the color so I got a pop of red off the mini campus of course because they don't do these colors but just wanted to break up the monotony a little bit and just kind of make everything flow and blend you know just got this whole match the candlelight type vibe with the freedom sticks right there so I bought out a total of eight. What's cool is when the party starts, I'm gonna move those out a little closer to the dance floor.
So there it is, party people. Another one down for the books. G Fire 2020 is on fire. Nothing's gonna stop this party. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick breakdown. I already did some. We used to say in the army, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. But we've been breaking down since everybody else started breaking down. Then I did my systematic breakdown. One of the first things I do is break down the tablecloth. I still keep it in the mix and stuff like that, but I always take the tablecloth down first because they're collecting the linens and they want to get out of there with that. So let me take you guys on a quick tour and at least show you what I did so far. Here we go. So quick recap, I did use two subs, two tops. The other top is over on the floor because I just turned it off literally. I got eight freedom sticks. They're still in the last command that they were in because um, I shut the DMX controller down and they were on blue so they just stayed like that. There's the roller underneath the table. I didn't want anybody to step on that and fall down. So let me go ahead and just uh, break that down since I'm done with it. I'm going to just close the laptop. So I had this uh, to get music from Nadal which was from the dance company. It's got the two speaker poles in the bag over there. And then here's my mean cable runs right here. So I'm done with that for now. I'm just going to go ahead and unplug the system here boom just like that so I got two cables going that way and um, I had tape like all over the place to keep it as neat as I could along the wall this is the aftermath of uh, ripping all the tape across the doorways and you know around these little corners and stuff like that to keep everything nice and neat but that's where the cable terminates I'm already done with this here as well so boom there it is and we're good to go let's recover it 